Okay, so this is incredible, 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 incredible. Okay, this is actually incredible because this is the reason. We are talking today about emotions lists. Now look, I have seen over 30,000 acting exercises over. And the thing is, is that there is mostly, there is usually about five, maybe eight different emotions that people do emotional preparations on. Sometimes they'll do a few more, but I'll tell you, I've seen a lot of work and I'll tell you, the majority of people stay within a very, very small emotional range with their emotional preparations. And the key, key thing about this whole thing with these emotions lists that I made, that there is, first of all, there is one for $5 that helps me to be able to keep the lights on and pay the bills and all that. And then there's free ones that you can look at as well. And there is over 900 emotions. 900! And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to use these to expand your talent, expand your acting, expand your music, expand creating internet videos, expand anything that has to do with artistic talent. That's how powerful this list is. And you don't wanna miss it because the reality is, is Talent is the ability to work with your emotions, your own emotions. When you're able to work with your own emotions, you're able to be able to use activation, emotional activation. Now, typically for actors, that involves using a technique called emotional preparation. And emotional preparation is the matching of intended emotion to material, to scripts, to material to start the improvisations so that you have a higher chance of having your emotions find you when you're interacting in acting. So you have to kind of let go of them a little bit and let them interact. But this is the key. The key is there is over 900 emotions that you can go through and instead of just working with say three to five, maybe even up to 20, different emotions. You can work with hundreds of emotions. It just takes a lot of work. So this is how to be able to use this emotions list. Now, I have this thing that I'm calling activation journals. Okay, and I suggest highly that you're able to work with this so that you can work and use these activation journals. Get a journal, get a book, Get some paper, if you've got loose notes, shove it in the same book, put a title on it, activation journal, okay? And this is absolutely important because you're going to start to make a list of your own talent. Your own talent, not somebody else's, your own talent. What actually activates your emotion? So we, we work with this list. First of all, get the list. If you can afford it, $5 for the list. If not, then, then just use the list. But the thing is, use what's, what's out there. There's hundreds that are free, okay? I've, I've been very open so that people can, can have access to the information. There are links in that description that you could actually use to improve your acting. You can help, to, it can help you to improve your creativity. So there are, are um, independent activities, there are reasons at the door, there's lists of programs, there's um, at lists of emotions, there's programs that you can do, and there's also ways that you can actually contact me for private coaching. So listen, please do yourself a favor and check that out, you know, right down there in the description box. So go down this list, right? You get the list and you go down this list. The job and how to use it is you go down this list and you say, okay, now, You've got this one here. Uh, um, okay, look. Go. I'm. I'm not even gonna uh, just say um, discouragement. Okay, I'm just randomly picking something, right? Can you write down in a journal the word discouragement? Can you make a bullet point? Okay, and say real. Can you say real experience recollections? Right? Can you recollect real experiences? with discouragement for yourself. Let's say you can. Let's say that there's been times in your life, however short your life's been or however long your life's been, that you can remember something that's discouragement, the time when you've been discouraged. Write down a bullet point 
for now, a bullet point to be able to remind yourself of what, when that experience was. What was that experience? So you write down a bullet point. Maybe you have two experiences. Maybe you have four experiences. Just pick the ones that hit you at the moment, right? Think about it. Work with it, right? Then write down underneath there, write down other people's disappointment, other people's discouragement. Can you remember other times when other people have been discouraged? Now, there's a reason why we're doing this. Then you want to write down imaginary circumstances that would cause you to be discouragement, to have discouragement, to be discouraged. Now, imaginary, right? We're talking about our imaginations. What would happen to you in your life that would cause you discouragement? Write that down. This is a, a, a moment. This is an ingredient for your acting. This is how to be able to find your talent. This is an important note for yourself because you're writing down something that's an emotional activation, right? You're writing down an emotional activation on the topic of discouragement. Okay. Now go down this list. Next one that, that kind of hits you, right? Next one. Um, Solemn, solemn, okay? Randomly looking at stuff, okay? Pick one that, that kind of hits you a little bit, okay, solemn, solemn. Write down two to four experiences that you remember in life that where you felt solemn. Then write down a couple experiences, two to four experiences of somebody else when you've seen someone else be solemn. Then write down an imaginary circumstance, hopefully two or three, where you can remember, at least one, where you can write down and remember and think to yourself what would cause you to become solemn under an imaginary condition, under an imaginary circumstance. Now you go down this list, right? We're going to go down to sincerity, right? The bitter, bitterness, bitterness, right? See, bitterness catches me a little bit differently than sincerity at this specific moment. So I'll work with bitterness. See, I'll work with what affects me at the time, right? And so we work with bitterness. We write down two to four times in our real life where we felt bitter for whatever reason. And then we write down a couple times where Somebody else has felt, felt bitter, and you've noticed it, you've witnessed it, you've watched it. Then, write down imaginary circumstances that would make you bitter. Now, if you've done any acting at all, you've started to understand why this is so powerful and why this is so good. Because you're going to be using your abilities to be able to use these activation journals to use this list of emotions to be able to now have this incredible, incredible ingredient to work with of what makes you bitter under an imaginary circumstance. And you can use that ingredient in your acting, in your relationship setups, in your setups that you work with to do acting for your uh, imaginary circumstance setups, for the reasons that you come to the door and knock on the door. This is absolutely key. This is the thing that will make you or break you. This is the talent and the habit that you want to get into. And you work with this activation journal like it is your best, best friend. Believe me, when you get to know yourself as an actor, you will absolutely. Now, I've seen over 30,000 acting exercises, so I can say that this is true for myself and I can say that this is true for others. And when people, and when you're able to find yourself in your work the confidence that you start having is incredible you start to really be able to understand people better all of a sudden you do your emotional preparations and you learn the technique of activating your emotion and then letting it go enough so that you start to receive the other person and all of a sudden that particular emotion that you've just done emotional preparation on naturally will want to show up 
within your acting interaction. See, acting is activation, acting is interaction. This is absolutely incredible, incredible to be able to work with. So this emotions list is a road map also to your acting. So is my book, Emotional Preparation, which you'll see soon. <laughs> but the reality is, it is, is absolutely fantastic for you to work with these emotions list. Now, I have put these materials out for people to use. I want you to be able to work to expand your talent. I don't want to see 30,000 acting exercises with only five emotions anymore. I want to see 30,000 acting exercises that have 600 emotions. <laughs> it would be a lot better to watch and study and teach people that are working with a very, a very, a, a wider range of emotional life. And what this will do is that this is will expand every single thing in your own talent, in your own work. So please boot that like button. Um, let me uh, know what I can do even further to be able to help your acting and share this with your friends. Tell them, look, you know, uh, you know, you might for a while try it for yourself, you know, try and work with your own activation journal, don't tell anybody, but you know, eventually later on, you might wanna share this with your friends and you might wanna say, hey, listen, there is this technique that works. It's called emotional preparation and it's called e uh, activation journals and it's called an emotions list that Simon Blake has on his website and you can absolutely tell them that and this will be able to help them find their talent too. So then instead, of just having the same emotion working over and over and over in you, which is sometimes good because you can get very familiar with it, but you want to then be able to expand your talent. So when you get scripts that you don't yet maybe quite have familiarity with, you can readily find an emotion to be able to get activated inside yourself and then be able to put into your work, right? Absolutely, it's absolutely key. And you can also work with that emotion, uh, you can work with your emotional preparations and the emotion, emotional preparation list to get and do your independent activities. Now, very quickly, work with your independent activities with emotional preparations using emotional activation and see if you can see the difference. When you work with activated emotion, right? and you work in your own space, and then see if you can find the same concentration in your acting classes, in your, on your stages, in your scripts, in your uh, productions, on your film sets. And if you can, then you will have learned the ability to be able to dive deep in to your imaginary circumstances, your imaginary world as actors, and you will have done it with emotion and emotion will be an incredible friend to you in acting. So please, boop that like button and let me know how this works for you. Thanks. Okay, so I teach people how to get upset. I have a lot of fun teaching people how to literally purposefully upset themselves, actually waking their own activations up so that they're emotionally activated. There's something that they can get upset about within a ballpark of emotion. But the key, the absolute key, is I don't want you to carry around that stuff in your life. That's what's called acting baggage. You want to be able to learn a technique. I have to be able to tell you that it's, it would be a disservice for me to teach you all of these incredible techniques on how to access yourself as an artist without reminding you very nicely that you don't need your acting baggage in life. So feel free. Work on processes where you have a release time after you're doing your acting. And what this will do is it will actually amplify your work because it will give your acting muscles the break that they need in order to get the rest that they need so that your work will be even stronger. Okay, thanks very much.